Hello people, it is I, Ingzilla11. Today in this video I will show you how to install PCSX2 and Eggs and Kai, both of which you will need to play Spy vs Spy online. Now I'm making this not out of obligation, but so as an actual updated tutorial for this method since previous tutorials that show it are pretty outdated and the methods for them don't really work anymore. And so I'm just making this video because of that. The method that I'll show off is all from the excellent Kai wiki and I'll link down the page if you can't stop my fucking voice, which to be honest I won't blame you for that. Just as a quick reminder though, this tutorial will be a fairly long process because it requires a lot of shit to install and a lot of patience. Nevertheless, let's begin this tutorial. So first here are the things listed that you'll need to begin. First, you want a nightly build of PCSX2 1.7 that you can install from the PCSX2 site. Second, you'll need a PlayStation 2 BIOS so that you can actually play the game. Third, you'll need NPCAP installed, preferably the latest version. And fourth, you need an ISO of Spy vs Spy for the PlayStation 2, which you can find in a lot of PS2 ROM websites, so that should be the easiest step to be honest. Lastly, you'll need the latest version of X and Kai, the main components actually playing online. Along with that, you'll also need to create an account on the X-Link website. Just click register and fill in the basic information and you're good. Once we have everything, we can now start. What you want to do is drag your bio shit into the BIOS holder of PCS X2, or anywhere if you really want to. Once that is done, PCS2 should all grab from the directory. If not though, just check the BIOS interface and refresh and it should be there. Now you want to head to Network and HGD, where you want to set your Ethernet device type to PCAP switched and your Ethernet device to where the Ethernet device you have. I have a set to 2, but honestly it doesn't really matter. And that's, all really, that's really all you need to do. Now this section here is entirely uh, skippable, so you don't have to do this, but if you're curious, uh, if you want to change the layout of your list of games, uh, what you want to do is uh, click this icon at the top left, then you want to right click your game, Set cover image, and you normally normally you would pick an image from wherever wherever you put it. Now, preferably you want it to be a cover of your game, but I will link a site in the description where you can find covers of uh, games. So I will do that, and then you can just make your game, make your layout look a lot fancy. That's really all it is. So once you're done with everything you've done so far, you want to uh, load your game up. Once you've made it to the main menu, you want to go into Options, go into Network, and you want to Edit. Now in here, you want to add Setting, select the memory card that you're using, then you want to scroll right, then you want to press Triangle. Now here, you have the MAC address. Now, if you look right here, you want to you want to look at the the last four four characters of your MAC address. Mine here is 617C. What you want to do is open up the Xenkai IP calculator, and you want to type in the last four characters of your MAC address, and then you click Calculate IP Address. Then here you want to copy all this information for later because obviously it's needed. Once you do that, you want to go back, then scroll right, this is entirely optional though, but I put it as not, not required. This you want to set to manual, and here you want to copy all the info that you got. So you want to copy P in the IP address, you want to copy in the netmask, and you want to copy in the default router. Then you want to put in your primary DNS. You can name the setting whatever you like, and then you press X to save. And it will also give you an option to test the connection, but don't bother with that. Now I obviously have the settings saved up, so I don't have to uh, save this. But if you're obviously creating one for the first time, you obviously want to save it. After you're done with everything that we've done so far, uh, you want to return back to your game. And you want to go into multiplayer. And before we click LAN, we want to start Excellent Kai. So when we load in Excellent Kai, uh, initially when you do first, when you do first uh, launch it, it will tell you to log in. But you can change it 
in the configuration tab uh, where you can uh, make it so you, you're automatically logged in. Anyways, do you want to go into game arenas? And then you want to navigate to the game that you, uh, that you desire, but for this case, uh, obviously it's Spy vs Spy. So just make your way to the game. Here you can create a private arena, set a password, set a max players, and a, and a description. This isn't needed, but it's optional. Then you want to go back into the game, select LAN, it will take a bit, and you're good to go. Here you are able to create a game, and you also can join games if there is one created. And there we go. That's pretty much it. If you do run into any issues, such as uh, not being able to see up, see other players' uh, games, uh, we we do have a Spy vs Spy Discord server that you can join, and we are willing to help the best we can. Anyways, that's all I have for this video. Obviously, very out of place for what I usually make in terms of content, but I felt the need to make this so people know how to play the game online on PC as X2 again. This video may flop, but honestly, if it made some people happy, that's all that matters really. So, uh, thanks for watching.